guys, this is Slimmy and Fish. It's my turn at the microphone today because I haven't done a video in a couple of days, actually a couple of months, and I wanted to try to get something in because of, like I explained to Michelle, Michelle, Michelle also uh, agreed with me that it is time to get a channel, a video in for us because YouTube is in the process of cleaning, cleaning house of all the inactive accounts are being deleted. Some of the people who actually found that a huge group of people that had originally subscribed to their channels had been kind of uh, inactive and then they went away their subscriber research to disappear. And that's because of the fact is that there's only so much room in the world hard drives at Google. Google may have tremendous amount of space, but it's not infinite. So, because of that reason, people may kind of forget that they subscribe to your channel and then their accounts lapse and then of course somebody has to clear out the computer and so people who don't actually upload videos or watch video log in to watch videos will probably end up getting chopped. So I was one of the people who have realized this that, you know I haven't done a video in a long time and so I decided that maybe we need to do something just to keep YouTube from thinking this account is inactive because it is been kind of inactive for a while. Today we're going to talk about, oh, let me think. Hmm. Why not? Let's talk about CERN. C-E-R-N, which is the super, especially the Lydian Hadrian Super Collider, which is LHC. And the fact is that there have been several people who have been saying is that they have managed to punch a hole through to another dimension. Kind of like sliders, except they're not trying to slide um, to that dimension. Um, people are saying is that they think that they, um, the people at LHC have chosen to go and open the portal to a dark dimension of dark entities and we all, we don't have any confirmation of that is. We do know what, what little pictures we have seen that have been released to the, um, by CERN show something on the other side of that wormhole. And that's exactly what it was. It was a portal or wormhole-like structure um, that definitely is not um, heaven. And I always wondered, is this... If it's so easy to punch a hole through, supposedly through hell, how come we can't seem to punch a hole through to heaven? Hmm. Isn't, wouldn't heaven be just as easily done to punch a hole through? Well, I think we need to remember a couple things. Um, in the Old Testament, Father Yahweh got extremely upset, but the, the, the main kind was trying to build what they call the Tower of Babel, which is a giant cigarette, which was the whole idea was to reach the heavens and to make sure that his secrets, his divine secrets was never revealed. He changed the language of all the people building it, so now nobody spoke the same language. And that may sound silly, but it worked. Nobody could understand each other, and so things kind of just didn't get built. Why would God do that? Why would Father God want to keep people from knowing the other side? He doesn't want you to know. It's not that he doesn't want you to know about the other side. He's got very specific rules on how you're supposed to get to the other side. You could say he's got the equivalent of a very strong wall. And the wall is built there specifically because the dark entities will try to destroy it. So... He has created these barriers to keep the dark entities out. Because after all, Yahweh is stronger than the dark entities. But when you realize that, that uh, Yahweh's brother, Lucifer, is actually part of the dark forces, Lucifer is almost equal in power to Yahweh. So why would... Lucifer not be able to blow down 
Yahweh's wall. Maybe because he doesn't know exactly how to get through Yahweh's wall. Doesn't mean it's because your brothers that you're going to be thinking alike. You might come up with a completely different strategy. And right now I'm just watching Westy's girlfriend cat. Sasha. She's going downstairs. She's, um, Westy's cat has been, girlfriend's been coming up here lately. And, um, okay, I mean, that's another story. We won't go there right now. So because of that reason, because of the fact that Yahweh is pretty much doesn't want his brother to come in and bring his minions into his domain. He has created very strong policies to keep them out. Whereas the, his brothers, well, the main, he's kind of left it wide open. So obviously the LHC was more likely to punch a hole into Lucifer's domain than into Yahweh's, which is the other side. So it would make sense. But now there's a big fear. With this portal, enters the possibility that the, domain, the, the demonic entities are going to come through that portal. And it's going to be it will be happening really fast and way too late for the people on the LHC shut down the portal in time. Demons are very crafty. They can get through almost anything. And especially since right now they're going through a tunnel that would be mostly energy system. It doesn't take no rocket scientists to figure out what's going to happen. Okay? Um, so, yeah, you got this problem of you know, what are we going to do now with these, once the demonic entities get in here? Do you realize that Rusty's daughters are up here? Yes, I did see that. Rusty has his little daughters are up here. <laughs> He's got little girl kitties. Yeah. And, um, so let me finish. So the point is, is that these, these, these tunnels, these portals are, have been opened Without knowledge of how the LHC was intending to create it. Never mind the fact that they have a statue of the Shiva outside the door of the of the um, CERN. They, which means Shiva, if you know anything about the Indian mythology, is the creator and the destroyer of the earth. She's both. Um, the ability to create and destroy, that's exactly what the linear, linear Hadrian Collider can do. It can create or destroy. Um... What would happen once the demons come in, if they come in? No pun intended, all hell breaks loose, basically. But all, really, all hell's breaking loose already, because Michelle and I have been watching what's going on with the weather, and it's definitely not exactly complimentary, if you want to. I would like to know what you think um, about the LHC people at CERN, what they're doing. And would they be ready for the possibility that they might bring something unwelcome to Earth by either a mistake on their part or a bad decision or whatever? How do you feel about the fact is that they may bring literally hell on Earth? And also, do you think that Father Yahweh in his own his own divine benevolence if he's going to help prevent that from happening knowing full well the kind of trouble that's going to be potentially unleashed we Michelle has told me that she heard on some news reports that there was a fire at the LHC which supposedly shut down the LHC for a few days the last few months we haven't found any more supporting documents to support that, so we don't know if there really was a fire or what. But we do know that if the situation gets out of control bad enough, that there's going to be a lot of very unhappy, miserable people. But anyway, for the time being, we want to hear from you, and so don't be afraid to contact us. And... Michelle, I don't even have on my my page a information on how to contact us. And I don't want to use yours because that's yours. Mm. Yeah, I understand your point. Yeah. So I'm wondering is how should we do it? I don't know. 
maybe we should just cut the picture down to size, put a title on it, and just almost throw it together, and then I'll blow it that way. Okay. And maybe clean out some of the outtakes of me looking at the cats all the time. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. At least you're looking over your shoulder, unlike the people at CERN, which is as far as what's going on. But yeah, that's true. You know, they're not really thinking clearly about what they're creating with this huge amount of energy and stuff like that. The amount of da um, dangerous potential capabilities that the LHC has. They say that's even caused some earthquake events. I don't know what's possible, though. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen. Talk to you soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I know my channel doesn't really have a subscription thing for money. Because I don't think Michelle, this, it gets complicated. Um, but, you know, please do feel free to watch the channel. And we will let you know if we find out anything new, anything cool. All right? Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.